Hey everyone, my name is Chloe, and today we are here to do a fun thing with my husband, Jeremy. Today is our anniversary, so I thought it'd be really fun to bring him back on the channel, and I just asked him, will you do a video with me? And he said yes, so he has no idea what we're going to do right now, and so I'm really excited. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to show you the cover of books, and you have to guess what the synopsis is. So you have to tell me what you think it's about. Does that make sense? Okay. So you're going to be yeah. judging the book by its cover. So Literally. Okay. Literally. Yes. So let's just get started. First <laughs> one is How to Walk Away by Catherine Sinner. Um, there's flowers in a plane. So uh, I don't know. Some vacation somewhere. People meet. It's a romance. She tries to decide if she wants to go home or stay. Walk away from her original life or stay on vacation with this guy. Okay. Not know. bad. Not bad. It's close. So if, if you haven't read this one, this one is about a girl who she gets in a plane crash um, yeah. with her fiance and then she can't walk. And so it's literally how to walk away. Like, will she ever literally, be able to walk again? And then also, um, should she walk away from that life or go back? So yeah, the plane should be damaged. The... Well, it's kind of scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Diane Chamberlain's The Dream Daughter. Um, well, reflection shows a kid, there is no kid, and the next to her, so she wakes up thinking she had a kid, and has to work through that somehow, I don't know. But she didn't Ultimately, have a kid? No, never did, maybe. Never did. Or vice, I don't know, there's a, I don't know. One way or the other, it's either kid existed or didn't, and okay. she's upset about it. She's upset, why does the kid, can you tell me any more about it? Why does the kid exist or not exist? Um, or how does the kid exist or not exist? Her dream daughter. I don't know. Um, I, a decision maybe that was made about a relationship. So you think maybe it's I like a dual time, like a dual if, if you would have made thing. this decision or something? Yeah, like that. They do a reflective, you know, they do some of those mirror okay. stories. I don't know. Um, no, <laughs> that's not what it's about, but this is about, that's... yeah, no, you're, you're right in theory because mm. she, it's about a woman who is pregnant in like 1970 and mm. her baby has like a heart defect or something. So if she is born in 1970, then the baby will die. So her, somebody in her family or something, talk about this one. yeah, ha, she's able to time travel. So she goes to 2010 huh. ish and to save her baby. So not yeah. bad. I remember not you bad. talking about that. Okay, huh. next is After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, burnt toast, so... <laughs> Falling in love is the easy part. I'm guessing that's about marriage being not quite as uh, perfect as your toast should be sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're, well, I'm, you're I'm not wrong. more about real life, maybe, huh? Yeah, this one... So, I'm picking some of these. <laughs> yeah, I'm picking some of these because they are my favorites. And this one is about... A couple who's married, and they decide to take a year apart and have no contact with each other and see hmm. if they want to stay married or not or what's going on. Um, and a lot of stuff happens, and it's really good. But, yeah, this one has a lot of different covers, and I think this one makes it pretty obvious what's it about, what it's about. Okay, two more. Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. Hmm. Um, it's a romance of some sort. Rose petals in the profile, so you get that going. Um, I have no idea. Jar of Hearts. We got a crying kid. Um, they're uh, faded. I I don't have any idea. I really. What What would be your best guess? Um. Is it literal? Is it? No, it'd be a fiction of. No, like so. Maybe she's a heart doctor. Yeah. I don't know, a surgeon and a handful of different relationships yeah. and how they impact. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I know. No, this is a thriller. So this is about a group oh. of three friends who one of them dies when they're young and then the other two are kind of figuring it out later. Then love mind. this one. I don't know. I just said I picked my favorites and I didn't really like this one. but Yeah, I think you talked about this. Like they go back to like the hometown meet mm -hmm. up and do the investigation yeah. and I yeah, remember. one's one's like the police, and one's just a friend going back and trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I have no idea. We'll Last one. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I didn't even know I did two Taylor Jenkins Reids, but... Daisy Jones and the Six? Um, I have no idea. It's a book of the year, so mm -hmm. it must be popular. Yep. Um, hmm. I, I have no idea, so... 
the six. The six. I'm trying to think what six could be. I got nothing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what What does this girl look like? Like, like a opposed pictures, like a model or something, maybe. So. Okay. I don't know. You got nothing. I don't know. So you Daisy think maybe Jones. she's a model? Well, I don't know. It's like one of those turn the fan on and take a picture things, like kind of. Like I don't. So maybe she's the photographer. Or she's drowning or buried in leaves or hair or something. What know. genre do you think it is? I would guess romance. I don't know, honestly. Women's fiction is a broad statement, but kind of covers it. Yeah. I well, this idea. is a literary fiction, and this is basically like behind the music of this band called Daisy Joe and the Six, and it's from like the 70s. Okay. It's sex, drugs, rock and roll, all told in like interview format. So hmm. this is Daisy Jones. She joins a band called rock the Six. That makes sense. I see the rock and roll. Yeah, 70s. Yeah. 70s vibe. That makes sense now. Yeah. You know, after I So, know I mean, you did pretty good. Nah, good. Pretty, not really at all. But <laughs> so judging these books by the cover, now do, now do they make sense? They do, a little more, yeah. yeah. Jar of Hearts still doesn't really. Like that one, no, the even cover, the title is a little, it's little mis- weird. It's a little misleading in some yeah. respects, but... It probably but, sells better with that kind of cover. Yeah, well, and I think the cover is really pretty. I just wish That's the inside was a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't love it. Didn't your love book, it. Your book looks nice. The inside is just terrible. Yep. So, just all the work you did is the part that's not good. Yeah, anyway. pretty much. So, okay, well, thank you for doing yeah. that. That was fun. And Happy anniversary. Yeah. We're going to do a whole lot of nothing, so take out tonight. That's nice. Otherwise... Yeah, no. Just another Thursday. Another I don't know. Day 475 of staying home. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, if you do this video, let me know because I think it's really fun. So that is it. Thank you. Bye.